Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hello, dog. Um, I am <laughs> cleaning my glasses. I was ready until I realized I couldn't see anything. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> well, welcome oh. back. <laughs> um, this is Kill City Sinners, who killed Laura Palmer. We're professionals. My name is Aaron. I'm running the game. Uh, and I'll pass it over to uh, Steve. <laughs> I'm Steve. Hey, Kev. Hi, uh, that's Steve. I'm Kev. <laughs> I'm playing Cody, and it's going to be a great time running this crazy murder mystery we got going on tonight. And I can't wait to have fun with all of you. Stay tuned. <laughs> that was immaculate. That was perfection. Who, who, who are you passing it to? Right down there. You dropped oh. it. Hi, that's Kev. <laughs> I'm Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be playing Andromeda. Um, I was absent the last game that we played, so we'll see what happens with our lovely uh, chaos gremlin devil teenager child. Um, I'm going to pass it on in that that well, that direction. Thank you. I will take it. Hi, <laughs> I'm, I'm Mike. Uh, I'm playing Zephyr, and I didn't talk at didn't all in the pre-stream. That's that's Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Steve. And that's Mike. And and that's Kevin. It is. And that's Aaron. Oh snap! Oh my God! And this is class. Kill City Sinners. Uh, you can't see. I am reaching up out of my frame. It's to yeah, underline yeah, don't, it. Please don't reach that high because I started feeling. Never mind. You're, it's, you're it's inside. Oh my God! Now, yes, come, please hands to yourself. Now talk for me. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we are simultaneously streaming on OnlyFans right now. I just knocked shit off of the bookshelf. Hold on. <laughs> that was me. I reached up there. Don't look up my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> this is Who Killed Laura Palmer? Do we know? Are we going to find out? Let's Ooh. find out. <laughs> If you don't mind, where exactly is Andromeda? The last thing, I just picked up something on a scanner about a rogue QCU unit going all through these streets. I don't know where Andromeda is, but I can almost guarantee, considering the other five UC units that are currently chasing that one, our little misfit who got out of my sight is somehow doing that. There's a couple UC units behind because part of my part of my little smash and grab was slashing some tires on my way. Wait, Wait I thought she was with you. <laughs> um, she was initially with me, and that was the intention for Andromeda and I to actually spend a little bit of bonding time together. But then I started, well, I started doing my research. Lost Andromeda, who then stole a car and. I am so, so I probably, sorry. So I probably should have, uh, you know, checked out that vehicle being chased, not thinking about it, like, what was it, like an hour, two hours ago? Damn, I don't even know. I've been out here running my ass ragged looking for, like, security loopholes and avoiding cameras. Yeah, we kind of we kind of got like inner city blindness. We see like a car chase and sirens and we just like yeah, that ain't, ain't blank that it out. Crazy. Like, honestly. Yeah. I don't even notice car chases no more unless like I get hit by a car or something. 
Um, uh, I can't afford to get hit by cars. Yeah. <laughs> they keep me. They keep me just under full time, so they don't have to give me health insurance. That's why. That's why boss is the boss. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> well, for for what it's worth, I I think I think she'll be okay, except for. Nope, there, there's some trouble out there on the streets right now. Andromeda, if if you can hear me, where did you go? You said that you were going to go pick up some burgers and then... Um, you hear her just like, <sighs> kind of huffing and puffing and is like, Hey, uh, I'm, I'm totally on those burgers. Um, <sighs> Don't, don't don't listen to the police scanner. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but I'll be there in like I'm gonna circle back in me like 20 minutes. Uh, Cody immediately turns on and flips through to find the police scanner third party app. Uh. <laughs> this, <laughs> this huge this huge um like news story pops up and there's this like van that has like run into one of like these <laughs> massive corporate office buildings just like went right into the lobby of some like big name <laughs> corporation building um and just like <clears throat> absolute chaos your truck the ucu truck what oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, <laughs> that just goes right through like a huge floor to ceiling, like glass pane of a lobby. And there are just like burgers, like houses flying out the window. And uh, people are kind of like jumping, like diving out of the way. And mm -hmm. you've got like, you've got distant, uh, distant sirens in the background. Um, yeah. What a way to have howls, like ripped out, like she's secret like, location. She's like going like, around, like picking up some of like the burgers, and that's why she's like panting, is because she's like running around and is like, you know, gonna pick up whatever she can and stuff it in the in like a big brown paper bag, and then like go run off into the streets and totally like ditch this joint <laughs> after having caused like massive chaos and mayhem. Yeah, what are you feeling right now? <laughs> Oh, she is feeling so powerful. Like she was able to steal a van and drove it through a corporation's lobby. She's feeling great. Okay, so you are uh, you are outside of this just shattered uh, corporation, like the front of a, like the visage of a corporate corporation. Like there's like glass that's like in the in the fountain that's like being like oh yeah, totally onto the giant yeah. boots just chomping on glass. <laughs> exactly. You've got about I'll give you 15 seconds before the, the cars come around the corner of the, the city block you can go anywhere you want you have a 15 second head start where do you want to okay. go 15 heads uh, 15 second head start I'm going to head in the direction of shade city okay <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're in um, the district just e east of Iron Heights so Shade City would be to the west. Um, so you're I'm just, gonna have I'm to. I'm hesitant to like go back. Shade just City. Yeah, I want to like go hiding. I want to go out and hide out for a minute. Uh, Shade City would be like three, about three, yeah, about a mile and a half west of this location. Maybe a little bit more. Now you do have. Um, there is a subway system that runs from Iron Heights to Aiden Springs. Um, it is the only functional uh, subway system in the city. The other ones exist, if you can call it exist, exist at best. Which is it? Is it populated? Is it like? Is this a dense? Yeah, yeah. It's because okay. you have the exclusionary zone between the two. So this is okay. a surefire way for people to get from like the higher echelon to the kind of high echelon. Okay. So there, there, there is like a bunch of people involved. Then I'll, then I'll head towards that too, because I'm just kind of looking to like blend in, hide out, like go, go, go under the radar for a minute. Yeah, yeah. So you, um, oh, you run now, across. Now you want to go under. Oh. <laughs> oh. So you I've always been under the radar. <laughs> this is this. We needed a distraction. I provided. just not well. <laughs> <laughs> the radar is like bashing her head a little bit like the whole thing the dish is just going so uh so it you run effective. across 
So you run across the street. There's a uh, one of those subway um, entrances, like the stairs that go down. Um, you push through the crowd. There's people that are getting up or walking up and down um it's pretty it's not so strange that there's some kid who's like trying to like rush their way in or out so no yeah, one's really and paying like, you hood is up like sunglasses are on you know we're we're gonna we're gonna yeah we're gonna cover up did you just make a subway sound oh you're so great um so okay so you go down into the thing you pass over um uh are you gonna are you gonna uh, jump the sty- the turnstiles? Oh, 100 percent. What do you think? Oh, I yeah. pay for this corporate shit? Like, oh, no, yeah. this is a public service. Yeah, just and for I'm that. And I'm public. I'll, just just for that, I'll give you plus one forward on your next ro- roll. Um, nice. So so you uh, you hop the turnstiles and you go to find the next uh, the next car or the next train. There's none right now at the moment. So you are looking at probably you look at the time um, up at the top. The electric the um, um, the numbers going like the they like old school style like all flip like um like an old airport kind of thing the um yeah the ticker thank you so you see you see them all start to go and you realize you've got an entire minute before another train comes you don't okay. know if you were followed okay yeah i'm gonna i'm actually gonna i'm gonna surface um and kind of like scout things out from there okay like and then wh- from wherever I'm at, where from wherever I like surface, that's where I'm gonna, you know, start like walking in a crowd, uh, you know, kind of scoping to see if people are following me and then like start working on uh, maybe finding a, a place where I can send a little ping. Okay, so by surface, you mean you're going back up the stairs on the other yeah, side? Yeah, going back cool. up, yeah. Okay, so as you come up I the stairs, you see- I on the trains. I just yeah. want enough to kind of shake things up. Yeah. Do you, are you going to wait around to see if anybody is like um, stopping at the van that you ditched? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, I that van doesn't it never belonged to me. It's not my problem. <laughs> OK, so as you like tuck your your hood down and you kind of like go cut the corner, um, you do notice there is news is instant here like Mm -hmm. it everything is it's it's very invasive to the point where it if you fall complacent to it it hits you like a ton of bricks when it happens to you so you you cut the corner and you immediately like get a ping on your in your um in your visor and there you hear even if you don't have it on you hear the the news report like a ucu van just crashed into the iron heights bank a branch of of killison city howls has spilled everywhere we're looking for a suspect who might have also scoped out a Howl's burgers joint and uh a packard systems uh be on the look and like you know you hear like the the thing it's ridiculous and you know that they're never gonna find you nope they're never gonna find cody cody yeah yeah, a a crowd found howls by the way Uh, all right uh what's the location do you know yeah hold on let me let me send it to you right now you give me the address i'll move as much as their of their assets as i can out before the ucu go through but we can't afford them to get picked up uh yeah sending it to you i do you need a firmware upgrade this is not no don't do anything that fucks with my eye tracking anything all right you're fine you're fine go go ahead and pinch zoom your way through got it got it yep um so, oh. so uh you're you're andromeda you're gonna go back towards your hq um so at this point if i'm confident that you know they're not gonna find me nobody followed me um i'll kind of like duck into an alleyway somewhere and uh i'll like catch my breath and, and ping char okay hey bitch i got your burgers oh Look who it is. Is that the smell of UCU on your clothing? Uh, maybe. Mm. Probably. Are we pinched? How fucked no. are we right now? I'm just no, kind of curious. Not. It's look, it was a it was a stupid stunt and I got away with a lot of tact and grace. So. Um 
Okay. Hey, uh, hey, 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 Zeph. I don't know what your location. Is. I don't know what your location is right now, but I uh, have uh, stowed away on one of these fucking hover vehicles, and I'm about two, three blocks away from the house location, and I might need your help moving some stuff or slowing down something. If you could like get like a delivery truck or something down the road, that would really, really be helpful. We got to get house out before we can get fucked. Dude, you, 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 re you feel me? Yeah, yeah. No, I got you. Right. Um. Great, I'm gonna work on yeah, something. Send me the location. I can make sure there's a distraction or something. Yep, yep. All right, so that is the map. Thank you so much, because I forgot what the districts were. Um, so everybody is in uh, about to head into Iron Heights as of 10 a.m. the next day. It's still nighttime the night before um okay so iron heights is where cooper security enterprises is and that is where your meeting is um right outside to the east in hardison burrows is that's what it is right hardiston yep hardiston cool thanks um that is where owl's pawn shop is because um as if you remember it's like the perfect um in between between the iron iron heights and aiden springs so they get the best of both worlds in terms of like expensive equipment and uh tactical equipment um newsflash hell hydrate oh here's yeah. my water bottle oh cool um andromeda you find yourself at the eastern side of hardiston burrows because you were about to take the subway in mm -hmm. Um, Char, did you meet up with Andromeda, or do you just know where she is? Andromeda came back to the to Andromeda's HQ, and then we um, we both left from there, right? Oh, last Stace? episode. That's that's correct. Stace. Mm -hmm. So you just came back yeah, with the burgers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like pinged you, and then we met up at my place and had our little. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Um, great. So, uh, if you guys want, if you want to do anything else, that's that's totally cool. Or if you want, we could pass um, pass over time to the next day, and you guys can tell me what you want to do overnight. Yeah, I don't think in terms of because we pretty much got all of like the info we could from um, from the club, from the Bang Bang Bar. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't think there was any more work to do on that front, unless you think I missed something, Steve. Um, no, we went through all of the footage yeah. in uh, in your place of all the security cameras. Um, we started noticing some discrepancies, some actions and other things like that of other people inside the bar, but um, anything, any major discoveries have not yet been revealed. Okay. Yeah, so I'd say like that's that's the only thing that Shar and I would be working on in in that in between time was just more analysis of stuff. Okay, um, if you want to send me any or like ask for anything specific, I'll have you roll like whatever you're feeling um, for it. Actually, there was was there something I think so from the because I remember we also got like some some little crunchy bits from Laura's goop. <clears throat> yeah, um, we, we, there was just as a, um, a polite reminder, what, what, what do you, uh, hold, hold on, let, let me get everyone in on this. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing with the footage of Laura Palmer in the kitchen when she just kind of stared up at the camera and yeah i can tell you right now cody has no fucking clue that's some weird architect shit that he's just like ah that's too fucking weird for me uh, nope uh i don't know have nothing to do with that All but right. he, he he is close to cuff about the information of laura using technology in order to using the technology uh from her boothing uh to pay for her services uh he is stuck on that so what I'm thinking is um, I can categorize this. Uh, I, well, let me go through all the footage. Let me see what I can provide everyone, and then we're going to meet back. But where are we meeting? Because right now, and well, I got a um, Andromeda. That stuff smells. Where are we going? Well, I've got a meeting in the morning with Dale Cooper on behalf of Rib Stickers, and 
I could probably get one of y'all's in with me as a uh, assistant of some sort. Andromeda, I don't think you really fit the um, the professional profile uh, that they'd be expecting. Oh, no, oh that sounds yeah, like a nightmare. The, the, the uh, ears get, get covered. And uh, Cody, Cody, uh, Zephyr? Yeah. We I know we, we're both made of meat, so we must look the same. It's all the same to me. I got metal arms. <laughs> I well, it's, either way. What the fuck? I, it's stop. Listen, we're gonna stop by. We're going to get someone in some very special clothing, and then we're no. going to make our way there. Yes, we're going to. Yes, we're gonna, actually, uh, actually, Shar, I was gonna request um, that you assist me on this one, and. Um, I was also going oh. to see if you could possibly speak to Dietz. I know Dietz and Taylor had those masks that could change your appearance. Ooh. I'm not saying that we go in there with you looking like Laura Palmer, but just enough to put them on edge. Let me contact him and see if I can call in a favor. I may also. have an obligation or two. Uh, a a Zeph, uh also uh, heads up. Uh, you know the 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 syntax. We have uh, varied uniforms depending on themes that we have for a lot of the corpo yuckos. You know how they come through and act like they know what the fuck they are doing in terms of dress. It's it's mostly costume, but if you got that like that tech that changes the way things look, like it it all looks all professional. All the employees put on put it on so that they can uh, be looking all fancy for when the highbrow folks walk through. So I can bring a couple of outfits from the syntax if you think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, God, I've worn right. a suit since fucking almost funeral, but all right, yeah. Uh, all right, so we'll meet up in the morning. Clothes. I will be looking presentable. And uh, all right. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop by. The, I gotta do a stop by the pit to run a job, but then uh, I'll be I'll be there in the morning. So you two are are you going to bed? The two of you? No, I'm not. Uh, no, nah, I'm going to do a thing. I I got other tasks that I need to accomplish this evening. Are you both going to be available, or is it just yes. in drama and I and? Oh, thank God. I'm not going to be left alone. All right. Yeah, no. um, I mean, I'll be available. I don't know how physically available I'll be. Uh, we are going to go to a thrift store. No. Why? Why? Why do I need to go? I look fine. Yes, you do. You look just fine. <laughs> yeah. So we're not going anywhere. We got like, I'm... There's still shit we could be doing. I've got other projects. I don't need to go shopping. Oh, that, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you can do your projects. Um, you're about 167 centimeters. That's fine. No, don't buy me shit. I don't want clothes. I'm going to go. Especially not from you. I, you're, you could put me in something absolutely disgusting. You have weird taste. I do, because it's fit to my frame. I'm going to try to find something that, I don't know, a size zero garbage bag, and then we'll just go from there. Fine. All right. Do your little shopping spree. I'm actually going to be Thank productive. you. Finally, sense is being spoken. Um, I'm going to go find a thrift store, leave, and go pick up Andromeda some business clothing. Okay, uh, I'll start with you. <laughs> so, Me? Okay. Yeah. Taylor, so. you're going shopping. <laughs> we have murder to do, and you're going shopping. <laughs> so, murder, murder to solve, right? <laughs> so, I there's, think that I <laughs> so there is a a little um, a little place in Hardison Burroughs uh, called Shelley's. It's a thrift store. Uh, it's a consignment shop and it specializes in um, like way back clothing. So think like <laughs> <laughs> think like like a 90s diner outfits and um, maybe like 80 shoulder pad business uh, business gear, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like if like Christina Applegate probably wore 
<laughs> all of it. Um, so, so yeah, so you go in, it's uh, weirdly open, it's very late, but uh, you see there is a, a lady, that a blonde woman, who is just kind of like doing her thing in, in the shop. She's all by herself, um, and you're gonna go in. Yeah. Yeah, the, the little bell. It's like a the, those old school like ding ding ding. I just I stand there in the doorway, just ding 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 ding. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The door does Fashion that. You don't need to actually. You're not even going to believe what it is that's happening. Uh, small, uh, for the most part, unadulterated. I now walk into the store, put my hand on this person, and spin them around as I walk with them on my side, and just start pointing out at everything. Approximately one something about 167 centimeters high. Um, a fairly thin, athletic shaped life. Um, looking at typically baggy clothing. However, for this case, we're looking for something a little bit more on the corporate side. Oh, I see those. Are these pads on the shoulders real? That's wonderful. Uh, if we can find something that without the spandex feel, that would be absolutely fantastic. That looks fantastic. How many credits is that? Uh, uh, welcome to Shelly's. I'm Shelly. That's a lot of information. Hold on one moment. Um, do you want sh shoulder pads? But no spandex? Because that's going to be a little hard to oh, find. No, no, it's absolutely fine. Hold up for one second. Rip, shit, kick. Uh, this right here is what I would love to have. Just this. Can we actually, hold on. Can we, can we take this as well? How many, how much is all of this? Um, oh, um, that would be two and a quarter. Here's three. Thank you so much. Bye. Ding, 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 ding. You don't have to press the door. Okay. <laughs> and I go back to HQ. Okay. My HQ. <laughs> Part the red beans. This is my house, bitch. <laughs> Part the red Fucking beans. Social light empty. AI. Oh, my God. What? Oh my God. This is my hair so much. <laughs> Handle that like a social light AI. It's like, oh, 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 honey, that won't do, but I need this in latex. Thanks. Do you have <laughs> this? I'm just imagining Danny DeVito. Trash. Trash. <laughs> derivative. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> a big suit with yes. shoulder pads. Now this, I love. <laughs> I just imagine Char watched pretty woman one time and thinks that she knows everything. I was like, yes. <laughs> this is oh how shopping works. God. So you come back with an outfit for Andromeda. No, I come Pretty back empty AI. handed. I, I come back empty handed. Okay. I part the what? curtains. I part the curtains. I part the red bead curtain and I step inside. Number one, is Andromeda still there? Uh, Yeah, she lives here. This is my house. Last time you lived here, you stole a UCU. Now I have to make sure that you are still here. I'm, of Good, course I'm still here. I was never going to get caught. If for some dumb, like told you, it was a dumb stunt. Nobody I, was going to track that shit. Absolutely. Of course you were. You were so correct. Um, I got you more food. Thanks. Fashion flavor! I'm... All right, so we're going to try this. I'm going to hook this up over here, put this up no, over here. Stop. We're going to put this no. on. Okay, hold you on for one not. second. Hold it's on. Like this jacket, this jacket, this jacket. There is a full physical confrontation jacket. if you do not Come fuck on. off. The jacket is now off. Here, love, try this. Here, turn around. Good. No, put the absolutely arm through. Put not. The arm through. I, put the you arm. can't Very do this. Good. Get out. No, I will zap your Very... brains out, you motherfucking trash-ass robot bitch. Look at you, though. No, it's like already like coming off. It's like getting torn up. Look, you're gonna have to try this out though. You see, Leather you pants. see that the particle well, scalper like... comes out and she just starts. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, hey! Excuse me. This is actual pleather. I don't give a fuck. Get that shit out of here. You say you. We want to solve a mystery. And I'm telling you that this is uh -huh. something that we probably want to do because we're going we're gonna to be maybe face to face. I'm not going into face. any corporate bullshit place that was not a part of the deal. Here's the beautiful part of it. You don't have to go as you. You're going to go as this. I'm this not going as you. anything. This is, well, nope. you, that may be your choice. And you better I'm, leave right now before I literally gut your brains out of your skull. What's going to happen when you, the most important person out of this entire team, gets called on to come into this facility I'm and infiltrate? Not, it's fine. They don't need me at the corporate bullshit place. So, I am a behind-the-scenes 
nobody has to see me. We're not. I'll, I'll be outside in in the alley in the dumpster. That's where I live. That's are, where I am. Are you sure? Because I'm just thinking that maybe you might be needed. Get more specific. You're being weird and vague. Sure. Not a single one of us has your skill set. And if you need to come in under disguise, because this is clearly not you, no one here is so stupid as to try to force this on you and pretend that and, and, and have you adopt this. This is not you. We all get that. What I'm saying is disguise. This will at least get you entry into some of those icky posh joints, and then you can wreak havoc from within. Things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. Andromeda, imagine the stuff that we can do once we are actually inside. That's what I'm saying. I think this is very stupid. You're right. It's absolutely dumb. On the other hand, I promise I won't even pick on you for the next 48 hours. You don't pick on me. You're just you're just an antagonistic ass. You're just, you don't pick on me. You don't you think you hurt my feelings, huh? No, because you're just whatever. Go put it on the table, and I'll think about it. You're awesome. Turn and leave. Fuck you. Coming back to the rest. Puts of on you. her headphones and, and like is back in the zone. <laughs> Char leaves. Um, where am I meeting you guys? Charles uh, Andromeda is going to be taking care of some stuff. Uh, does Zephyr or Cody respond, or are you all really busy in your oh. in your jams? Cody, Cody has radio silence. Uh, I rolled. You know, you know where he. You know, know where he done. is. You have three hold on that. Um. <laughs> Okay. You, you, Jesus, uh, uh, you know, you know where he is. He's he's at the uh, he's at the uh, the syntax, but he's not picking up on his uh, on uh, his comms. Depending on like what, like is this still kind of like early in the evening? No, this is pretty pretty late. Pretty late. Then yeah. do you get like Zephyr's like kind of like standard away message? <laughs> um. All right. Since oh god voicemail is that even still a thing guys i'm heading over to the bang bang club i'm gonna double check some security cameras and see if anything is wrong with them match it up with some of the other findings of andromeda um i may be sending you some local feeds that we couldn't otherwise get in our reports if you need anything love just let me know and i'll be more than happy to run the systems from from over there um oh that's a nice door uh i'm going to work now <laughs> So just to clarify, are you going to the Bang Bang Bar yeah. or to the Black Lodge? Bang Bang. I wanted that. The Bang Bang Bar is where we saw the. That was the camera. That's where we saw Laura Palmer in the kitchen cam, right? No, it was. No. In, oh, the Bang Bang Bar is the companion, the the dumpier one. That's that the one where we first went. And, uh, ah, yeah, that's right. That's black, right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So then, yeah. yeah then, then I'm going to the lodge. Going to the Black Lodge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you'll probably make it there for last call. And uh, in the meantime, because it's pretty late. In the meantime, sure. I'm gonna while that's happening, we're gonna have the camera pan out and then go all the way over to the syntax and go into a different club. And uh, what's Cody doing? Uh, Cody is currently having a. a Oh wow, I wasn't muted this time. Uh, Cody <laughs> is uh, working with uh, a little a little tinkerer friend uh, that he has, uh, and because this builds uh, what is the, the contact thing that he has available uh, in order to see if he can retrofit uh, two kids toys, the little ho the little hovers hover uh, board things that the kids have been playing with. Uh, to see if he can use that for expedient movement uh, whenever he has to go cover a great distance. And uh, he is very, very interested in and invested in making sure that he can get this item uh, for many purposes, not including his uh, sinning. 
Okay. Um, are you, uh, do you, do you have a name for this friend or do uh, you? Uh... I, I, I do not. It, it, uh, it is, it is a contact that I actually got the first, uh, the first session ever with, uh, Cody. Um, and it was the guy who was coming in to snag a favor. Uh, and I hid from him uh, in That's the ceiling. Right. Yeah. What the fuck was his name? I, I don't. I don't remember his name. Uh, but I remembered that uh, I, I owed. I owed him like four cred. I think uh, it was said at the time. So now that I have it, I'm like, here's your fucking four cred, and here's another four cred to get this fucking thing I need. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so do you have? Are you asking him for the parts, or do you do you already have them? And I, gonna... I, or, I, or, I already have the part. He's got to put the, put it together. All right, all right. We're gonna. Uh, what the? F I don't remember his name was. Um, we're gonna fucking give him a new name. It's gonna be Tavish. Tavish. All right. Tavish is. He's got like these like wild like they're like artificer goggles but they're mm -hmm. actually like rave goggles like they it makes no sense as to why he's <laughs> using them right now you, he clearly cannot see they are meant solely for a nice experience while you trip absolute balls but he's he has them up they've got little spikes off the side and he's acting like he's like the baddest splicer in town um, he's got like a little like a little portable like welding kit that like plugs and jacks into like his arm it's got like an outlet where he's got like cables and shit that he's got a whole power bank attached to it um yeah. one of his augments and he's like all right all right all right i got this i got this i got this i got this all right Four cred. Four. I have all the cred. You gave me all the cred. Y yes. All right. Tavish. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And he like holds them and he's like just sitting there, just eyes closed. You can't tell because there's like stained glass stuff happening on his eyes. Yo, yo, Tavish, I know you got like a look that you do for your social media and everything, but yo, take off the fucking glasses, guy. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, whatever. Just have it done and I'm take the limiters okay? off. Okay, this helps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take the limit. Get, just take the limiters off the thing so I could use it. You got the funds, and I, I'm, I know I got messages beyond that. Let, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna listen to this. And all right, all right. All right. Uh, Cody finally puts all his glasses back on, and he sees the, uh, the, the or sees the audio file of, uh, of uh, Shar throwing in. The, the 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 APB and is like what the fuck I haven't seen this in forever. <laughs> he really plays it back and listens. He's like oh fuck. All right. Uh, hey, uh, he opens comms. Yo, uh, Zeph. Zeph, you there? Uh, if this is still like the same time of evening, um, then you know standard like away message. <laughs> God damn it. All right. That's the same kind of thing you get when he's like on the shift. Word. All right. Fuck. All right. Fuck it. What's your size? What's your size? What? It's bigger than yours. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. I, I know I know, I know. know what you're getting at. Here. I'm, I'm ready. I'll, I'll put it down for you. Micrometers? Need those micrometers? Uh, bit. I, usually I just go by big, small, medium. Yeah, uh, uh, do, medium, do me medium, big. Do, do, do medium. Big, I'm, big, oh, medium. All right. All right. Jesus. All right. Do you want? Hold on. Do you want like fleece insoles or like? Velvet? I'm gonna be wearing. I'm gonna be wearing them while running. Birkenstocks. All right. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And he like goes back to it. He can tell like it's it's kind of like that um that grumpy like um weird Tom Waits energy where he's just like. <laughs> He's just like kind of like a, like grumbling to himself, like like making noises as he's welding, mm -hmm. uh, and eventually um, he's kind of spliced to these weird like they're almost like Heelys of the future. Okay, okay. Um, so one of them, uh, the wheels, he's he kind of like turns it over and inspects his work. He you see his eye, he lifts up a goggle. You see his eye for the first time, completely white. 
Um, there's like no no pupil. I, it's just a white eye, and he's just like, Ugh. this one isn't really a, this healy thing. This this the wheel, the wheel. Yeah, right. It's not really. It's not really a circle. Uh, okay. it's kind of oblong. So just kind of lean into it. You know, just like lean like uh, when you're running. Uh, you know. All right. Uh, is that is that fine? I mean, yeah, it's the best I could, I could, you're not gonna take a credit from me, are you? Like, I got a family to feed. I don't really have a family or anything, but you I know, know, if I, did, I, know I, 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 Tavish, I know you. I'm t Tavish. I know when you're bullshitting me. It's fine. I put the fucking cred down. You darkened my door for like a year with uh, annoying me for fucking all the money I owed you from before with the yo-yos if you could if you could just do me the solid of making sure I don't have to come back to you to get this fucking fixed that's it that's all no, I want that's all I ask no, no 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 I mean I could have a family you don't know oh my god it's fine just get it done fuck all, all right all right all right let me see if I can fix this, this uh, you know what no it's just gonna be an oval forever here you go <laughs> All right. and, he, and he gives you, uh, they're gonna work, but you yeah. do have to lean into, into the side. <laughs> you might Hard. further down the line, because you are organic, you might mm -hmm. have hip problems in your middle age, but for right now, you're good. All right. Mark that down on your sheet. Mark that down on your sheet. Andromeda's coming Got in it. with a lot of money. She might be able to doll those up for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is right. a well, dark like style clock with 95 sections. <laughs> <laughs> oh All right. Um, is there anything else you want to do with Tavish? Nope. Oh. All right. <laughs> Tavish is going to uh, help himself to the bar and uh, just drink tomato juice for the rest of the night. Just nothing Ooh. but tomato juice. And it's Ew. like and it's like V7. Like, it's yeah. not Ooh. like you're... Oh, it's not even the good one. It's not even Period. the name no. brand. Gross. Yeah, well, Tavish isn't great. Um, so the, we, <laughs> we don't uh, like him. <laughs> we don't have to like every character. They're not all our precious babies. <laughs> I will. Sometimes, I will sometimes you make a character, you're like, ah, fuck this guy. <laughs> I, I She's gonna be said. creepy as all hell. So the Jesus. camera uh, pulls back away from like the from Tom Waits. Tom Waits Tavish's back in the bar um, as he sips on his lukewarm soup water, and he <laughs> <laughs> and then the camera spins and goes. Uh, it transforms into uh, rib stickers and a much more bustling, albeit tacky. That's not where I am. Oh, you're not there. Oh, no. I thought you were on a shift. Uh, I, so I said they're getting the, the away message as so you, if you as if to, I was on shift. You go to the bar and expecting to see uh, Zephyr, and there's nobody there. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's the guy who subs for me. It's just like a pimply teenager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, his name is uh, Heifer. And Heifer. then uh, we go, <laughs> we pull back away to where Zephyr actually is. Where is Zephyr? Uh, Zephyr is in Shade City, uh, not the part that he um, resides in, uh, kind of lurking around the location of the facility where we confronted and killed uh, Hazer. Uh, so we left it with uh, with Zephyr, but Zephyr's like really in Shade City right now where there is no signal. So we're going to uh, skip back over to uh, Char, who was trying to get uh, go back to the Black Lodge during closing time. Yeah, sure. So uh, what, what you doing there, Char? Um, at this point, I'm kind of figuring that Char is, uh, I mean, going back to the Black Lodge, going to go check out security cameras, probably got distracted by a nightclub or something like that, wanted to see exactly, you know, what, like, like what was going on, and just is now going to reach out to whoever she can. Um, want to find out a little bit more about Laura Palmer, see who else knows outside of the known locations or anything like that, so... Is it safe to say that she can go into a nightclub that's adjacent to one of these places? Yeah, yeah. There's this is the uh, club district. People tend to bar hop and you know uh, club hop 
all okay. night long. So you got like kind of a crowded street. There's no real cars that go through here um, or any kind of hovercraft or any anything. It's mostly people that are stumbling. They get less and less graceful as the night goes on. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fair. All right. That's totally fair. Um, yeah. Then in which case, um, yeah, just out there on the streets, um, just looking around, seeing if anybody kind of match it well what i'm really looking for is any kind of a lead to laura palmer to people who work at these two locations see if i can get anything at this point and at this i i don't even know where to look yeah uh why don't you do an analyze role and uh kind of get a scope a lay of the land so to speak sure um i found How you feeling yeah, uh, confused. Um, there's a lot of information. Um, I'm going through a lot of the videotapes at this point in my head and mm -hmm. seeing if there's anything that might work uh, in terms of giving me a lead. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to start Foundry back up, but I'll tell you what, analog time. So... That's an eight natural. I know that there's at least a plus two, uh, depending upon the emotion. Um, okay. Let's, yeah, let's just call it a nine for now because I, I don't yet have the sheets up. That's all right. Oh, whatever you have for scared would be. Scared, yeah, that's a good one. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Hold on, I'm just now being able to get back into that. Uh, do, 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 kill city centers, here we are. Sorry for the delay. Uh, let me okay. get in here. Tech shit. Tech, Tech gremlins. Yeah, gremlin seriously. There we go. Alrighty. Let's... Nope, that's Andromeda. Okay. Analyze. Let's go. We're gonna say scared. Okay. Oof. That's a seven. Partial success. Okay, that's not bad. So you so, can ask two. Yeah. Um, Which, you, yeah. No, go ahead. In analyzing the Black Lodge, and how far away is that from uh, from Bang Bang? Right across the street. It is. It's a sister bar, yeah. Perfect. So standing outside on the street, looking around, lean back against an adjacent building. I can hear the music blaring through the streets, and you know, even though the time is starting to wear down and what have you. Um, looking for people that have a gravity towards one of these two places but the ones who are who don't want to be noticed so what if anything appears out of place um weirdly enough there is the building that you're as you're like kind of looking around and you're feeling the music like reverberate against the brick behind you mm -hmm. it's a weird um genre it's like it's in like an industrial club which is kind of weird compared to like the synth wave style happening around and like pop um beats happening so it's like a like a goth club okay um and you notice that there are um there's a lot of you recognize a lot of gang insignia going in and out like um the scorpions are there uh and you've got like um the uh, Derby girls are going in and out, and uh, yeah, it's it's got like it's got gang activity. It's a little out of place. It's weird that in Aiden Springs, there's like a notorious club that's on the on the strip. Um, is this one of the? This is not either the Bang Bang Bar or the Black Lodge, correct? Correct. Okay. This is like kind of next to it. A sure. couple. Um. All right, so I see these elements. Do any of them seem to have, am I picking up on any kind of a connection? Because I can analyze the fuck out of any of them. I wanna know if any of them have a connection to what I'm truly interested in. So let's see. Um, yeah, you know what? What's my enemy's true position? I'm going to, if I can, I'm gonna define that as not knowing exactly who my enemy is. Where is, what is the position of my enemy? And that's where I want to look and what do I see? Okay. Um, 
so not knowing like who the end because I would think that the enemy would be like if there was like a murderer who would it be would be like I'm thinking anybody that has information and is withholding it um, and so what uh, some of the things that I might be looking for is a like they are in the vicinity of a crime they know yeah. that they're on a crime scene and they have a body language that I can analyze. They have a manner about them or something that I can analyze, pick up on and go, this person might actually be tied to it. Okay. Um, so you see uh, coming in as you're sitting, leaning up against the, the wall, um, you see one of the dancers, you recognized her from when you all were walking through the, uh, the Black Lodge. Mm-hmm. Um, you see her still in her costume. She's arm in arm with uh, a guy in a big in a big leather jacket with like studs on it. Um, he's got long greasy hair. Um, he's smoking a cigarette. He's he's got like big boots that are unlaced, and they're going into this place. Um, and she's talking about how she's uh, so grateful that she has the chance to work for. Um, or work at this club uh, now that she's out of the Black Lodge. And she's going literally straight from one club to another club uh, in the same costume, ready to work. From the Black Lodge, in a Black Lodge costume, into Mm -hmm. this bar about to work. Mm Mm-hmm. And she said that she was happy to be able to, to get out of the Black Lodge? Yeah. How far away are they? They walk right past you into the club. Oh, what a damn shame. Oh, I'm so... Just bump right into the big guy. Oh, what the fuck, man? I am What's so problem, sorry. Bitch? I am hands on, but awkward. Um, quick little stumble off to the side. <laughs> I just add a little bit too much of the wrong oil, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I, oh, I am... I, oh, you! And I point right at her. It's, oh, I just saw you, t- your moves. Oh, God, you are just so, are you going to in here now? Can we hang or, or are you going to go to work? I'm working right now. Uh, I don't even know who you are. And I'm also- a person with, and I pull out 30 credits. And uh, you see the, uh, the and it folds the, back and goes right into my pocket. <laughs> you see the guy. You see the guy kind of, kind of be like, "What the? Are you like a cop or something?" Oh God, no, you? no! I am so much worse than that. I can buy places. What? What does that even? What does it even mean? Like that, he's, that he's means that I hire. But right now, love, I'm not working. I want to be entertained by. Consider me a talent scout. But who are you? Uh, you're pointing at the girl? No, I'm pointing at him. Oh. Uh, so he's like, he, he goes, I don't know, Leo, what, what's it to you? I want to know who it is that is going to be protecting the talent and who it is that I sign over paychecks to. I'm her fucking boyfriend. Mind your business. I don't care how many fucking credits you have. Oh, so you don't want to earn anything. That's fine. I thought maybe you might want to like earn some cash or something but that but that's all right how about you love how much are you getting paid in both of these places she she's gotten really small um she was sort of like very fluid and kind of drunk coming from uh the black lodge and kind of stumbling and carefree and you saw as soon as leo got really pissed that she sort of shrunk in not necessarily like yep. afraid of him but definitely afraid of what could happen um and she kind of grabs her arm and she's like looking away in jerky kind of motions and she said uh she says um i don't i don't work there anymore were you just let go no i quit the place is a shithole Audrey <laughs> fucking sucks and the, i and, and tell me about it and this is why i'm now scoping out the talent if you get my meaning as for you I, so imagine if the two of them are here and I bumped into him here, Mm -hmm. I start moving in between them and angle myself so that she's more on my left side and I'm now looking directly at him, getting ready to insert myself or if I wanted to guide him past me and I act as a barrier between them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets kind of like, like puffs his chest and he's like, pulls a cigarette out and he's like, 
wiggling it between his fingers as he's looking at you like, as for me, what? I'm kind of curious. How long have you known Little Miss here? Ronette? Like, high school. That's fantastic. Ronette, how long do you want to continue knowing this one? She doesn't answer you. I see. I turn back to him. This is going to be ultimatum. I'm feeling <laughs> very fucking powerful right now. Okay. I don't even that's, know what, what is ultimatum. That's a 10. Um, I'm going to say what I want and what I will do if I don't get it. So I rolled a 10 on this. Got it. Okay. So Leo, is it? Leo. It's yeah. a name. You can just answer quickly. You should be able to know your name. Here's what's going to happen, love. All of the skin suit that you're currently wearing will be simply flayed directly off of your frame until you actually look like my innards if you don't start leaving her alone. And if you lay your hands on her and talk down to her, be condescending in any way, shape, or form, at least for the next two years, I'm going to make very, very good on my promise. If you ever lay a hand on her again, you won't even have a memory to know exactly what just happened to you. Am I clear? And he takes a step back. He says, we will fuck you too, simulant freak. And then he goes, he lets go of Ronette. Um, and he's gonna like open the door to the bar and you hear the, like the, the just fucking <laughs> screams coming from the Sure, inside. yeah. <laughs> and he turns to Ronette and he says, listen, I got you that, I got you that fucking gig. So you better be in the cage in 15. And then he goes in. Um, stop him. I, I'm going to neutralize him. Okay. Yeah, fuck this. Fuck this. I, he's an abusive cunt. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I grab him. I roll a 12 on neutralize. Grab him. Kick him in the back of the fucking knee. Push his shoulder directly down. Grab his hair. Yank him back down to the ground. Knee directly on his chest. Pointed finger in his face. You no longer work here. What the fuck, man? Get Squeeze down head. all weight on chest. You oh. no longer work here. Now, I've... your skin is still attached to your bony little face. Oh. I'm pretty certain, peel back a fingertip, we can rectify oh. that. No, stop! Fuck I, you! I pull back, I grab him, stand him up, and just move him about three feet away from her. He you like, stop. Go ahead. Go ahead. You he falls into the concrete, onto the, onto the sidewalk. You no longer work here. Goodbye. And you will never uh, speak with her again. Goodbye. He uh he sc like scrambles up and then like he accidentally like runs into uh somebody else that was like leaving the club and also in very similar garb, um and he like crawl like like a cat like a cat like a panicking cat on a tree like he crawls up the guy and he's like get the fuck out of here man and he like pushes through and then he turns around to to face you and he like points a finger like fuck you man and he runs he runs away your imagination is incredible your literary skills <laughs> chef's kiss good night turn back to run that very serious face are you okay you have no idea what you did. No, I probably don't. But I do know that if you don't go in there and dance, then you're probably not going to make any money. Now, I'm going to make good on my claim. I'm going to buy you, or at least your services. But you don't have to do anything that you don't want to. In other words, I'm going to cover your pay for the next month. How much do you earn? Not enough. Exactly my point. No one here does. So... You just left a place of employment so that you can come here, arguably a shittier place, but probably better, play, a better paying and probably with slightly nicer people. I'm going to buy your time. Let's say I give her five credits. She's never held five credits in her life. So I start, I put a hand on her shoulder and start walking her away, gently guiding 
very clearly inserting myself between her and the rest of the city. And I start moving along to the side. My entire, my intention is to turn her into a confidant. I want the ears and eyes of someone in these places. Someone who is familiar, someone who was constantly looked over, someone who was constantly ignored. I want to turn her into the most powerful person in this district. Um, as you uh, kind of like take her under your wing, um, she looks down at your, she's like, whatever is exposed from your clothing that sure. is augmented. Um, and you could tell there's like a, like eyes as wide as dinner plates, like a gluttonous, like I want that kind of vibe that overcomes her. And she says, "Like, where? Who's your cause, Doc? Who does your who does your who does your work?" This is going to sound really odd, and we continue to move just a, adjacent to the club, um, inserting myself with the back to the city, my frame blocking her from view of anyone else that might be spying on her. At least that's the intention. Honey, I was born this way, and I will never know a biological frame like yours. Now, if this is something that you would like, I can definitely steer you that way. But I can also show you people that are quite happy in what they were born with. Some very good friends of mine. I should actually say that I am honored to call them friends. Don't have a single augmentation that I know about. And augmentations don't make you better. They make you into one of them. And I point back to the city at large. So if you want a dog, I can lead you to the best ones. If you want a human who has learned how to survive these streets, I can lead you to her. If you want someone who knows the meaning of family, I can lead you to him. And if you want someone who understands the balance between the two, I can lead you to him as well. Do you know where I can get some drugs? Of course question is, do you really need that in your head right now? You are about to make a good amount of money. Well, I've got five to spend. You do. And unfortunately, though, you're not going to be worth anything to me if your judgment is constantly clouded. You are worth so much more than that. You want augmentations in order to change you. You want the drugs in order to make you feel a change. And I'm going to tell you this. As a talent scout, I know what it is that I'm looking for, and what I found, unadulterated and completely sober, is exactly what just earned the money. Now, if you want to go on drugs or something like that, you can just give me the credits back, because then I won't be getting what I just paid for. I want you. I don't want what the drugs can do to you. Five credits Fine. or not? Fine. What do you... What do you want? Hmm. You're asking the wrong question. What do you want? Just... I just want the rest of those 30 creds. And... Respect? I, I, I don't know what that is. Exactly. I've... Let me show you what respect is. Um, what's the bougiest place around here? It's an oxygen bar. You want to come with? That place? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that place. You don't have to be you, and I patch through to Andromeda. You don't have to be you at all. You can be wearing a disguise. I mean, whatever. I just... I guess if I don't have to fucking dance in that gross cage... That's exactly. Exactly. You get to do whatever you wish right now. Shall we say that I am your new employer? My name is Shar. Ronette, I guess. It is an absolute pleasure. Ronette, consider yourself now employed full time. Of course, if this is something that you wish. If you don't wish it, however, I will, of course, gladly let go of any kind of a hold that I might actually have on you due to money. I don't want that to be our arrangement. I'd much prefer people be their genuine selves. And in this god-awful place, there's not a single soul here who's genuine. 
money buys power. You have the ability to be the most powerful person here simply by being you. Would you come and work for me? You need do nothing other than open your ears and open your eyes and tell me little things that go around. People will talk about, oh, what's the missing one? The dancer who was over here, and I point to, um, I point to the, um, uh, Bang Bang. Uh, the Black Lodge. Uh, Black Lodge. Laura Palmer died at the Black Lodge. I keep yeah. saying fucking Bang Bang. Bar. Are you yeah. sending this to Andromeda? Yeah, all of this. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're okay. now getting this. All right, it is 100%. Like, all of this is being recorded on Andromeda's end. Yeah, I can ping, ping. Uh, this conversation is not being Yeah, you recorded. basically, like, pinged her, and she's like, all right, fucking go time. Like, Roll the tape, baby. Uh, she, she's looked this whole time. Like, she doesn't really give a shit what you have to say. She's only listening because you paid her. And when you mentioned, like, Laura, she got really sad. And she says... Laura. Palmer. Everybody knows Laura. Yeah, Laura yeah. Palmer. Mm hmm. Tragic. Well, yeah. Beautiful. A life cut short. Mysteries. Uh, yeah, I guess. That's. And of course she was. She was my friend. You know her. We worked together for like four years. Can I ask you to take a seat for a moment? I want to show you something. Uh, sure. She uh, immediately sits down on... Uh, you're not at the oxygen bar yet, right? No, no. Okay, she just sits on the curb. Mm. Over here, love. What? Over, oh, over okay. here, over here. Okay, okay, okay. She sits on <laughs> whatever you're telling her. It's like a bench. I'm sure that there's some proper... Yeah, sit yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you a video, a cap, something that we got. Andromeda, may I please have the feed love of Laura Palmer in the kitchen? Um, uploads it. Um, project it down onto my hand and have her watch Laura's face appear. She gets stiff and scared as she watches the production. I know. I stop it. Laura's in the veil somehow, and that's my job, is to find her and get her out. But I need more assistance for that. I need people like you, people who know better. I am a stranger. You are friends. We only want to help her. We want to find out who killed her, but she still exists somewhere. Me and my friends are currently looking for her. But she's she's not in the veil. Where do she, you think she is? She died. Yes, and this was recorded after her death. This was a conversation I had with her. Just she. She stands up and, like, backs up. She's really scared of what you just showed her. This is somebody who, like, even though she works in the richest part in the city, she's so broken. She has not accepted that there is anything beyond, like, her, what, her, in her five foot little square. She's this is like the most terrifying shit that she's ever seen and she's like she like shakes her head and she's like was this some kind of sick fucking joke who are you what do you even how do you even i've never seen you before in my life exactly <laughs> you're not supposed to have ever seen me because i am not someone who is important none of us are we were hired we were hired to get down to the bottom of this mystery this you know what? And she like stum like stumbles back. She's like, keep your, keep the rest. She's she's about to like give you the credits back, and she's like, no, you know what? Fuck that. I'm keeping this. You keep your other credits. I'm taking the five. If money is the only thing that draws you, then what if I were able to, in some way, get you the friend that we all wanted? Sway. I rolled an eight. Partial success. 
Ooh, what does Sway do? Um, I'm gonna owe them some serious cred if I wanted to. Uh, it's if I want to get an NPC to do something I want, and their motivations don't line up with mine. Mm -hmm. It's it's what I've always wanted to do to Andromeda, but you can't do this with a PC. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, stuck. And so, they choose two. Yeah, uh, they choose two. Yeah, uh, this is their uh, this is their counter offer. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna owe her something like some serious cred, which I've already. That's the pay. So if she agrees to that, then that's the pay. Um. Uh. Let's see. Oh, I got it. Okay. She takes a look at you, looks you up and down, and she says, "You know what? You you probably cost me my job. Like I just left." to work at this other place. Mm -hmm. And it was a shithole, mm -hmm. but it was something. Mm -hmm. And now with Leo fucked off, mm -hmm. you gotta, you gotta get me that job back. What if I got you a better job? I don't want another job. I want that job. Okay. And I want your arm. Do you want me to put it on you? No, I don't fucking know you. I have my own cause doc that'll do it. And she goes like, she does like this, like, I want your arm. The interesting part of this is that this technology is not known by many doctors. You're going to have a paperweight on your hands. But I don't think that that's really of your concern. I don't think that you really care about that. What the fuck is a paperweight? I'll tell you what. Here's my counter proposal. Of course, you can just walk away. That's fine. In which case, then, I take my five credits back. Now, I can go in there and I can get you a job. I can also get you a better paying job. But it's your choice. How much were you earning there? You said absolute shit, and when I gave you five credits, you said that that was more. So, I'll get you the job, in which case, then, you then earn less than the five credits. Or you work for me full time. So, that's my counter. You can either earn more than what you're currently earning over there, and you can dance in that slimy, filthy cage, your words. Or you can go in there, earn this five and whatever they pay you, and you keep your eyes and your ears open. And when I ask you questions about who it is that may have tried to kill Paul, uh, tried to kill Laura, or actually did kill Laura, or any information about who it is that had killed our friend, then you earn more credit. You get the best of both worlds. You get to work in the shithole of your own choice. Or, once you understand value, I can upgrade you. And you don't get this arm immediately, but I can get you one exactly like it. I want a better arm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back into the club mm -hmm. and get into the cage mm -hmm. and make my money. Mm -hmm. I want that arm tomorrow. And then I'll answer your questions about Laura. How do I know that you're worth it, love? I mean, I do trust my skills to pick out people. I do have faith in my choices. But I can see that you're a tough nut to crack, and you're absolutely going to be worth every single little credit that I can pour into your little heart. But the one thing that I want to know, before I make a full investment in my friend here, who killed Laura Palmer? I don't know. Do you have the I ability on... to find out? I don't know. That's not I'm, not, I'm not like a cop or anything. I don't... Oh, fuck the police. Are you kidding me? That entire system can get screwed. We work b between the alleys where they stride. This is not us. We are not police. We don't give a shit about them. 
Mm -hmm. In fact, I much prefer to not even deal with any kind of a UCU or privatized anything. I don't want any investigations from any kind of an official. Every single last one of them do things strictly for the cred, for the power. We sin on purpose. We live life as it was meant to be, as a way that Laura Palmer never had the opportunity to. And you have the opportunity right now to pick up where she could be and even potentially assist her in coming back to that if it is possible. I don't know how. We know she's dead. Body-wise is dead. We know that. You're right. But she spoke with me. And I speak to the, uh, I speak through the veil. I have a little bit of faith, and I'm asking you to do the same. But I want to know what I get in return. I'll find out what I can. <clears throat> Meet me here tomorrow. I'll bring same an time, arm. I'll bring an arm. Keep the five creds. Feed yourself well. Do whatever it is that you wish. This spot, say, what time? Two. 2 p.m.? A.m. 2 a.m. tomorrow. Have a fantastic evening. Turn, walk. Hey. Turn, stop. Full ears. Hands in pockets. That arm. I wanted to hide something. I'll get some compartments on it for you. Something that could kill a guy. Let me see what I can do for you. And she's not gonna, she's just gonna walk away. That's fine. Do the same. All right. Uh, we're gonna cut over to Zephyr really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Zephyr, who's been, That's... uh, we've had white noise going on uh, over <laughs> the city. And finally, the CCTV camera uh, sort of like shakes a little bit, and you can catch uh, Zephyr, what, who's going towards where we left off with Dr. Hazer. Yes. Um, where we face off with Dr. Hazer, and he mm -hmm. lost his arm and the sword. Mm -hmm. um, looking around the entrance, we went into that building because even though Zephyr was kind of the, the back of mind passenger at that moment, he remembers uh, Kaze finishing off a simulant outside. Mm -hmm. And he's looking for any sign of that body or if it's gone, then if there's anybody who might have seen who took it. Um, this place gets picked apart pretty quick. You remember the last time you were uh, looking for um, Hacksaw and everything that you came across was kind of picked clean and a simulant body is no exception. Um, there's a frame, like a chassis, and that's about it. And you start feeling a kind of like um like a high like a high pitched vibration from your harmonica and she's yeah, I pull it out and she's like you who yeah. darling yeah how you doing it's been a minute it has yes i'm i'm doing all right how are you dolly i i'm doing great what do you what are you doing what you looking for well, then I kind of kick the chassis. I go, I was looking for some legs for you. <gasps> for me, little old me? Of course. Oh, well, I mean, you're not going to find much here. I mean, that that nice old simulant you work with had some pretty legs, but uh, you could see, like, if a harmonica had eyes, they would be, like, peering down at the chassis at your feet. But uh, this one seems to be kind of just a just a frame there. Yeah. Well, here's what I was thinking. You know, you are, and I kind of like holding the harmonica. Go very small compared to that. Thanks, yeah. darling. I'm watching my figure. I'm glad you noticed. An excellent job of that, by the way. Um, but that frame can be useful for having the simulant parts 
or some simulant components, there is a piece of cybertech that is likely still within this building that I left behind last time I was here. And uh, it is, it's not the same stuff that Char is made out of, but, and I hold up my other arm, which is like the two arms I have, like one is like, like exposed like gears and pipes and the other is this like very like sleek like carbon fiber looking thing i go it would match up with this one and i'm not even quite sure of the inner workings on it um so we have like matching outfits is what you're saying we would have matching outfits well isn't that just a peach let's go find it this is All fun right. it's like a little date of course yeah it's, this it's is so much it's nicer than very Rick's similar stickers. to one. Oh, are you paying? This is so nice. <laughs> of course, this is my treat, Dolly. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness, Zephyr and Dolly Dumpling just having a good old time in Shade City. Yeah, and I want to go into the building, and if I'm remembering correctly, um, the loss of the arm didn't happen like super deep in the facility. No, no, it was pretty, pretty much in the, like, the beginning of that whole thing. Yeah, yeah okay. so I'm, I'm looking around for wherever I left it, probably unceremoniously kicked into a corner somewhere. Okay. Um, you're welcome. Um, why don't you roll, why don't you roll a, um, and analyze, and then you can ask some questions about, like, other shit that you might be looking for. Okay. And you can you can adapt those questions, too, to be what you need. Yeah. I I think I'm feeling sad about this, kind of coming back here, um, remembering okay. that fight and being unable to do anything for Hacksaw. Yeah, yeah. Uh... That's a six. <laughs> <laughs> um, that I know you. An experience. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Let's... I'm sorry, I'm looking. Um... No, okay. Those are two different moves. I was going to say. Um... Or no? Yeah, no. There's if one I'm... That's better. No, 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 no. I, w I was looking at my playbook moves because I have It Speaks, mm -hmm. um, which when uh, it allows me to like consult with my object. Um, and if I kind of follow along with what it wants, then I can get a plus one. Okay. Um, but I didn't consult with it beforehand. Well, I mean, I could, I could argue that you kind of, you negotiated a date, which kind of counts a little bit. Okay. I'll fucking give that to you. All right, then I got a seven and i get to mark experience for following along with it but i have to give it plus one hunger Ooh. all right uh, what do you want to ask uh let me look at analyze um so with a seven how many do i ask just oh two, I think two um yeah. i guess um it's not my enemy but what's my arm's true position um you look down and you notice that there's um, recent simulant parts from when that chassis was a body and it was kind of torn apart. And um, you take a look at your arm that you have and then down at the ground and realize there's some like uh, uh, mech tendon pieces that are on the grounds that kind of match a little bit of the arm you're looking for uh and it leads in a trail towards like further into the uh the room uh and then the next question i'll ask um ad adapting the what if anything appears out of place to say do i see the sword anywhere not yet not yet okay um Sorry, I did just level up, so I was looking at what I Fuck wanted yeah. to take with that. And I know what I want to take with it. Okay. Cool. Uh, I will follow the trail of part. I, I, I'll crouch down at kind of like the, the scraps and I go, 
Now, Dolly, this is not going to be enough for me to assemble legs for you, I'm assuming. Uh, I mean, maybe tiny little legs, but I kind of like the idea of having those long ones that that simulant lady had. Okay, we, we can get you legs that are, like, proportionally that long? If we got <gasps> you legs that were, like, matching with how tall Shars were, people wouldn't, I don't think people would kind of immediately recognize you as a harmonica with legs. I think they would say, that is a pair of legs. Yeah. Well, well I, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be known as a harmonica, especially a employee standard r rib sticker harmonica. Oh, no, we both know that you are far more than an employee standard harmonica. Yes, well, what I'm saying is you will get me legs, Zephyr, and they will be long, and I could give two hoots and a holler about what people think okay. if there's a little tiny harmonica on top of them. I'll have those legs and some nice shoes, as a matter of fact. Okay. By the time we this is do done, Shard's just going to be ahead. <laughs> oh my god. No arm, no legs. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, and then knowing that somebody is is or was scavenging around here, um, I'm going to follow the trail, but I'm going to proceed forward with my gun in hand. Okay. Uh, as soon as you get the gun out, she's sort of like, oh, it's getting real exciting here. This is so fun. Dinner and a show. <laughs> And and she sort of um she's sort of like rumbling a little bit and like we know when you're playing a harmonica and you breathe in and out and it goes like hee, 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 hee. Mm -hmm. that's like kind of the sound that's being made right now it looks like she's kind of like buzzing with excitement and and uh, sorry <laughs> and um uh, he's playing video games he got mad. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Does does your object and other people hear Dolly? Or I can't forget, or I can't uh, remember if when it was the sword. No, the sword spoke like specifically in my head. Okay. Um, if you if you want Dolly to be audible to other people, I mean, like when I'm playing it as a harmonica, then yeah, people can yeah. hear it. Yeah. Um, okay. If she gets too excited and starts doing that, hee -hoo, hee -hoo, hee -hoo, then people can hear it. But if she's just talking, then it's all, it, it's only you speaking that people can hear. Gotcha. All right. Um, yeah, you keep going down a little bit and um, you hear uh, Dolly start the, the hee -hoo, hee -hoo, kind of abruptly stops. And then she's like, wait, I, I don't. I don't like. Stop moving for a second. Stop. Stop walking. Stop walking. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh, your boots are so big. I, it, 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 I hear something. Do you hear like a buzzing, like a humming kind of sound? Do I? No. No, I can't say that I do. It's like a, it's like when you wake me up, but I hear it. It's like hearing my own voice kind of, but it's not my voice. It's like a different kind of. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Does it, um, okay, um, Dolly, I'm gonna need you to ignore that voice. Um, I think I might know who it might be and he's kind of a real shithead and we want him stuck wherever he is. Oh, I didn't realize that we were going to have company on our date. He's not attending to the date, Dolly. He is a passerby and we will ignore him. Pay him the mind that we pay all passerbys. Yes, we will. Because we're on a mission for legs. Yes, we are. All right. Well, it's getting louder. So if you don't mind passing by a little quicker... Right. Um, when you say it's getting louder, can you kind of tell what direction it's coming from? Because I think the the first stop for legs might be kind of lying nearby. Well, you were going in that direction and it started getting louder and louder. Now it seems like it's, I don't know, am I shouting? 
Because it sounds like I'm shouting. I don't know if I'm talking my normal talking voice or if I'm shouting like in the back row of a grand old opera. You know what I'm saying? I get you. You're doing fine. Um, all right, then. How about this? Um, and I, I go to put the harmonica in my pocket. And I go, do you want, uh, if something happens, do you want to, I don't know, watch? Ooh. Yeah, if there's, if there's blood and stuff. Yeah. Okay, one second, and I kind of like rummage around in my bag and I pull out like one of those like hands-free harmonica holders <laughs> that like people who play guitar and play harmonica have. <laughs> um, but I like put it on and stick the harmonica in and then go, all right, you got a good enough view there? Oh, Zephyr, you shouldn't have. Let's go. Uh, and I kind of like take two like big, loud, like boot clacking steps out into the hallway and I go, Right, so if there's some fella in here with a fucked up sword, I might want you to come on out for a second. Have a little talk. Oh, that's so exciting. Uh, you don't see or hear anybody, but, uh, as, are you going to walk further in? Yep. Uh, and as you take, like, a couple more steps, uh, Dolly says, like, oh, oh. Go forward, go forward, go forward. Faster, 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 faster. I know exactly where it is. Okay. Get it with your gun, get it with your gun. And I I have the gun out, but I'm I'm not like running down the hallway. I'm still walking. (laughs) Um, As you turn the corner, there is a uh, like a a stripped simulant arm holding a sword on the ground. And it doesn't look particularly special. If anybody came by, it looked like a just a regular sword. Um, It is not humming for you and it's not speaking. Uh, But as you get really close, the harmonica gives off this weird feedback and the the metal bar that you're holding that is holding it is like vibrating against your neck. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, but I gotta avoid touching the sword with like either arm, but especially the one that remains of the parrot set I had back then. Um, What's happening? What's happening? Why can I not hear anything at all? Uh, just we we will be clear of this in a moment, and I will explain everything. Uh, and I'm grabbing the arm, and if it's still like holding the sword, I'm trying to like shake it free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll like clamor, clamor to the ground. And like, just to be clear, this is my old sword. Yeah, <laughs> it <laughs> um, is your old sword. <laughs> yeah, and, and with the sword like on the ground, like no hesitation, just like like boot to the handle, kicking it as far away from me as I can, and like running the other way. <laughs> Uh, as you, I, I wish as I could tell ready. you. Yeah, hold, grab the arm. I need the arm. I need. The I, know, arm. I, ha- I have the arm. No, no, no. I can't say that because I don't know where you are. But it's like <laughs> I need the I arm. Know. I know somebody who needs it. As you're running back, uh, you start to the vibration goes away and the feedback goes away, and you hear Dolly go like, uh, "Are you there, Zephyr? Are you are you yep, there? It got yep. dark for a second. I was yep, so scared. I'm, I'm here." Oh I'm here, my god, that was so scary. You have no idea. It was darker, oh, darker than an Appalachian forest at night. You know what I mean? I don't know what I mean. I don't know what Appalachia is, but I heard it once and it sounds scary. <laughs> don't, I, I know what you are experiencing. I, uh, Do you have my legs? I, I have components that will become <laughs> legs, yes. <laughs> Did you did you walk past that passerby? So as it turns out, some people in the history uh, in the city have history with one another. You know, sometimes you might pass by somebody who was a coworker or an old acquaintance. Yeah. I I don't have that experience because I don't have right right I'm, I'm, right. I'm trying to um, I'm trying to expand upon the metaphor. All <laughs> right. Well, what's your point there, darling? Because it's getting lost on me. Well, we are on a date, yes, Dolly? <laughs> yes, of course we are. All right, that sword I booted into the corner, uh, call that my ex. <laughs> oh. Never. Don't ever. Uh, well, uh, I mean, did you boot it hard into the corner? Oh, Dolly, I promise you, I kicked it just about as hard as I could. Good, because <laughs> it's just you and me forever, right? 
<laughs> Poor Tali. Bam. All let's, right, well. Let's get back up there. We will get the legs off that chassis. I know a guy who can do some work and get this fashion to some rat fancy legs for you. Oh, I am so excited. You have no idea. We're going to go shoe shopping for days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, going back up to like street level, I want to um, I want to use the, the link move uh, to introduce an NPC um, to the game. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> um, so, um, how I know them, feel about them, and roll. Uh, this is like a per like purely like professional connection. Like Zephyr is somebody who has cybernetics, so he has like a guy that he knows that can like tinker and fix these things. Um, and he, you know he trusts him. He does good work. Um, and he, he feels confident calling him. Um, Okay. So I will, I will roll to see. Okay, I got an eleven. So, uh, the relationship is in good standing. Okay, all right. Um, so I, I like with the the legs and the arm, or like the leg frames and the arm. I'm gonna dial them up. And I'll be like, "Hey, uh, hey, Marco, this is Anthony." Oh, uh, hey. Hey, 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 how'd you get this number? But you, you gave me the number. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wasn't supposed to do that. Uh... It's okay, hey, listen. You know, it's just, it's me. I can tell you anything you want to know. Uh, I got two fucked up arms. I took off a dead samurai. Then what? I lost one and I came to you. you... Oh, is this correct, oh, Marco? Oh, Anth yeah, this is Marco. This is this is Anthony, not Anthony. I forgot. Yes, I got with, with, yeah, with an H. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, I have a strange request, but you are one of two people I know who is good at strange requests, and the other one I am, like, working closely with, and I don't want them to understand just how strange of requests I need filled. Does that make sense? Uh, I don't have friends, so no, but I believe you. Okay, what? cool. Tell you what, you do this for me, we can be friends. I, that's not what I want, but go ahead. Okay. What do you want? I could also pet you. Um, uh, so it's fine. I have a piece of cybernetic equipment um, with the internals that could fill out some stripped stimulant tech uh, to create a set of functional legs. Uh, okay, not that not that weird, but not that weird. Okay, so that that's the kind of thing I would pay you like you know two or three cred for. Sure. Um, I'm gonna pay you seven cred to uh, uh, make those and attach them to um, my, my harmonica. Uh, and I'll pay you two more cred if you don't even ask why. <laughs> Huh. To Tony, can I call you Tony? Sure. I'm not gonna ask why. Mm -hmm. I just want to know. It's not a sex thing. Okay. All right. Yeah. Nine's fine. <laughs> All right. I'll do. I'll do nine. That's totally fine. All right. I'll stop by the shop. I'll drop the everything off, and then I will be. Uh... Okay. I don't know. Well, what's your what's your sleep schedule like? Can I come by in the morning and see how you're doing? I don't remember the last time I slept. I probably fifteen right, we minutes loved ago, to, but we yeah. love to hear it. All, all right. right, I'll be all right there. Right. Then I'll drop this stuff off for you. All right, all right, all right. Uh, don't call this number again. I mean, call it, but not for like. I know what you mean. Yeah. All right. Bye. I, I work in these circles too, Marco. Uh, that's right. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, weird request. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's it's one hundred percent a sex thing. It's got to be. <laughs> so, does anybody have last minute things? I, I assume Zephyr takes the legs and drops them, drops it off with Dolly. Yep. Drop okay. drops. Oh no, I I keep Dolly with me. I tell ah. I I tell Marco. I'm like, listen, when everything is done and ready, I will come by and we can install these on the aforementioned musical instrument. Okay. Yeah, he's like, he like lifted the, the gate to like accept the legs and he's like 
yeah, okay, whatever. And he like goes back to <laughs> yeah, and, and, like I'm standing there, kind of like scratching my head for a second. I'm like, he's so terrible at business. And I kind of like <laughs> like pry up the garage door just a little bit and like shove like a, a cred stick through with nine creds on it. Like, oh fuck! I, I forgot at the door and I go, you fucking moron! <laughs> <laughs> I always forget the creds. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Does any before we go to <laughs> before we go to meet up for this the meeting the next day? Does anybody have last minute night before stuff that they want to do? I don't know if it's gonna be night before, but I would like to annoy the shit out of Andromeda. Jesus Christ! Okay, fine. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> okay. Uh, after uh, getting everything set up for uh, from from Tavish, uh, I'm gonna immediately go right to Andromeda. Oh, okay. We're, this is for like we're... actual. Like, yeah. This is like a yeah. project thing. This yeah, is yeah. Okay. Late in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Hey, he's gonna, he's gonna knock. Hey, I hate I hate fucking coming here, but I'm here. Open the door. Um, the several garage doors open, and you see her garage that's just entirely covered with these red beads and tech just like sprawled everywhere. Um, I, I, Char is probably still like gone at this point, but like, um, she's got like her headphones on and has, uh, and has like some stuff going on. There's like projections and a transcription running from the conversation that Char was uh, projecting and everything. Yeah, dude, come on in. Come on. Uh, no, 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 no. No, we're not, we're not coming in. Yeah, I'm not walking into this fucking death trap. All right. <laughs> so, so here's the deal. This is like the most secure place in all of Shade City, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. So, uh, I'm not stepping forward in this fucking death trap. Therefore, uh, I got a thing. I got a guy. He's uh, not reliable, but he's good at doing uh, the the base form of his job. And I know he tried to stiff me. He might figure out that he's got a dummy cred in there. Doesn't matter. Uh, I need you to fucking fix these things so that they work right because they look fucked up. Okay. Do you want to uh, do that? And if you're like, no, nah, I don't want to fucking do that, I'll walk right the hell away. That's why I didn't well, want to no, cross dude, the threshold. No, dude, 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 you just gotta like tell me how high of a priority this is. Uh, it, like, it helps with us moving around the city, or well, specifically me, so I can help you all do this thing so we can get the rest of the fucking money that we're supposed to get for our primary job. Okay, okay. Um, do you give her the, the little heelys? Yeah, I, 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 bring, I bring them right up. Here you go. <laughs> Um, can I, uh, Aaron, as I, like, take a look at these, is this, like, something that I could, uh, like, replace or repair within, like, a few hours? Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. This is, like, yeah. shoddy work, but no. it, it's, uh, it's good for what it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, she'll, like, look at it, examine it, and be like, yeah, dude, uh, give me a couple hours and I'll have it ready for you. That, that uh, thanks. That was mm -hmm. fucking easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Why would you think was gonna happen? It's you. I thought I was gonna like bite your head off or something? Yes, yes. For what? For bringing me a cool project to work on? Yes. Any interaction that we've had has been some form of antagonistic. Well, that's because there's like people and like feelings and shit involved. This is fucking tech. <laughs> Got it. I, I know how it works now. I'll see you fucking in the morning. I gotta fucking sleep. I'm exhausted. Garage and door like slams down behind fucking you. Fucking god. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, does anybody else want to do anything before we wrap up the night? Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. obviously gonna fix the shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, is really a simple bitch. She just doesn't like people <laughs> with feelings. Prefers tech to everything, you know? <laughs> That won't be a problem. If you, um, I'm going to make you a little more tired the next day if you want, but if you work through the night, you'll, they'll be fixed to exactly what you want. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Char, what do you want to do? Walking down the middle of the, of a road, no cars passing by, rain on damp concrete, feeling rather powerful. Good evening, my friends. Number one, we have eyes and ears inside of the clubs that are adjacent to our target points. We have a new employee. Her name is Ronette. She is the, 
shall we say, a survivor of uh, some abuse and hopefully will be on our side. However, as part of a payment, as part of a condition, not only has she gotten five of my credits, but I also need a, an arm, one with compartments that can hold a deadly weapon. I have a feeling she's going to need it for her own purposes. However, why would I possibly invest in someone like this? She's friends with Laura Palmer. And she may be able to get us some additional information. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to be calling out to Deeds for some of the stuff that you had mentioned. Um, Andromeda? Yeah. If you happen to come across any spare parts, I would love you eternally. And I'll get you as many greasy burgers as you want. Is Zephyr still out of touch? No, I'm I'm, I'm oh. back now. Hey, you're back. Hi. Yeah. Um, I may need your expertise as a body with some parts that look like mine to be able to talk to this new contact. I have a feeling that you'll be able to relate to that kind of a mix a little bit better than any of us. If you're available. Okay. I'm going to be meeting her again at around 2 a.m. Uh, I believe that's when she's getting out of work. So I'm going to be hanging around this part of the city. If I see anything around the Bang Bang or the, or the Black Lodge or even new news from Ronette, of course, I'll be more Ronette. I'll be more than happy to, uh, to pass it along. Um, who needed this stuff from Deeds? Uh, whoever is going to be attending the meeting alongside me, the, the, the plan was to get one of them masks that can kind of change the face and slap on a face that looks close enough to Laura Palmer to put Cooper on edge or, you know, make him slip up. Oh, hey Andromeda, you know that nice little projection that you were so kind to give me before? Mm-hmm. Let me just say, that was an absolute masterpiece. If we can get our hands on, on one of those nanotech masks, we're going to be in business. I'm Easily done. I just need some time. Of course. You tell me. You're the boss. I'll talk to you all later. I've got a date at two. Wait, two, like... Tonight, two? Two a.m. Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Zap, not... I, I don't think they're going to need you now. I just need to get my arm before two a.m. Okay. Um, well, if you're looking for, I mean, I gotta look down at my arm. I go, my arm has, like, compartments and shit. No, this one, she saw what I look like. And she's looking for one of these things. I mean, if we need the, the framework that we can jam stuff in, they, uh, I mean, there's still the upper half of a simulant chassis out in front of that, uh, building where we iced Hazer. You think that there's still parts over there? I guarantee you that there is the upper half of a simulant body there as of maybe 45 minutes ago. How the... I, it's Shade City, man. I live there. I know what's going on. All right. Okay. Yeah, if we can grab anything that you can get, that would be amazing. All right, where am I... Uh... Everything super pretty, but I can make it as functional as you want. Oh, music to my ears. All right. Well, I guess I'll grab... Do you want the whole torso? I might look a little strange with it. I can fit an arm in a bag, I'm sure. We can use that. No, uh, give me the torso. I could use those for parts, too. All right. I was going to say, tie it on my that. back like C-3PO. We can also use that as a bargaining chip for people who are desperate for these kinds of things. Keep something in mind. Uh, Cody, are you on? I am, and I am laying down because unlike everyone who has chips in their head, I need sleep. Cody? Yes. This is where you come in. Oh, God damn it. Laura Palmer yeah, yes. was a victim to her augmentations, most likely. The vanity that surrounds such things. This one is just like that. I'm going to need your wisdom to talk this one out of it. She's about to commit a crime, which I'm fine with. This is what we do. But she may be doing it for the wrong reasons, and your advice may really come in handy. But get your sleep, love. Rest up. Heal up that body of yours, however that happens. Oh. We'll catch up. Oh, just make sure that um, 
you get the uh, you know the corpo costumes uh I got I got something and I got a spare from my from the fucking syntax if needed. I'll see you in the morning. All right, sleep tight. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Take uh, me, I guess I gotta fucking bring all the body over to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as we pull away the from the last person who hung up, uh, which was Cody. Um, it kind of pans out outside of the window through the broken blinds to the very early morning um, that has come over where you finally get to sleep around four or five in the morning. Uh, and there is a meeting in five hours. Jesus. So um, everybody kind of goes to bed in their respective or finishes their night in their respective locations. Yeah, I, would I think if I was. Oh. Sorry, I was no, going to no. say Andromeda was probably working on the wheelie shoes um, for the most of the night. And then at some point, I imagine like Zephyr is like pounding on the door and like drops off the, the arm thing. And so like Andromeda fully like works through the night and is planning on like you know, sun is like peeking up a little bit. It's like 5 a.m. She is like full, like head on the desk, crashed, and is not moving anywhere until someone like pings her for like this stupid meeting. <laughs> I, do, I, I think if Zephyr went through like the effort of hauling this body to Andromeda's workshop when he got there, he'd be like, "Hey, do you have like I don't know, like he kind of looks at the state of things? You got running water, right?" <laughs> What do you think I am? Stupid or something? I, yeah, do you gotta take I don't a know. piss? Um, no. Um, but I gotta get ready Why for the meeting. Why are such rude I gotta get ready for the fucking it, meeting, Andromeda. I got, I can't, and I could gesture to the whole cowboy look. I go, <laughs> Cody is gonna solve, and I, from here down. And I pull off my hat. I have like my long hair and this like ratty beard. I'm like, he's not gonna fix this. There's a shower in the back. I don't want to hear about it. All right. <laughs> I definitely fall. I definitely fall asleep in the shower. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Andromeda, until you either nap. The or shower some... will get cold after a minute and a half. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, but it's like it's like boiling a frog. It like cools down. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. so by the time I wake up, I'm just freezing, laying on the floor of a shower. Uh huh. Pretty much. Uh, Pretty much. <laughs> um, and, until Andromeda, until you either nap or somebody aids you in a roll, I'm gonna make you roll sad for all of your rolls because you were sleepy until uh yeah until you sleep or somebody helps um and i was gonna have zephyr do it but he fell asleep in the shower so we're good <laughs> <laughs> um okay so about like 9 30 uh, hits and everybody just um getting ready for this meeting who's going <laughs> I, I was one of the people like listed. Zephyr and Cody, we're all technically going, yeah. even though I don't want to. Yeah, we're, in, we're, we're all going. In, yeah, in, in your new clothing too, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not new and it's not mine. <laughs> um, the two a.m. when that was said. At what time was it when Ronette said that? It was. She meant the next shift. So Perfect. tomorrow okay. at two a.m. Perfect. Okay. So right. Like yep. 14, 16 hours from now, from the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, go I'm going I'm to I'm throw, throw this, I'm throw this uh, in here because it, it, it is a nice headcanon that I have. Uh, uh, Cody uh, comes up uh, with one of those, uh, those uh, plasti plasti steel like cases. Uh, compressing the uh, clothing, but he is dressed to the fucking nines. Uh, the, the 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 just very simple, clean fucking lines. He's got some of the the microfiber tips that glow along the vest lining. The lapel uh, matches evenly sim uh, with symmetry over his hip. Uh, his, his hair is uh, uh, appropriately cornrowed up and done appropriately. He's got shoes that don't, that aren't really helpful for his parkour. <laughs> but man, but man, do they 
fit the outfit. Uh, it is it is very uh, solid, a single solid tone with another supplemental color to match whatever uh, color uh, reflects off of the mono, the monofilament uh, lining. And he has his his newer glasses. You know, he cleaned them, and that's as far as it it's gone. That's the only thing that's recognizable uh from his prior you know street running attire what's your uh what's your powerful right now uh, uh, yes uh two <laughs> um i'm gonna give you a th- make it three f- until you're out of those clothes Heard. so any powerful rolls that you uh roll will be a plus three Heard. uh in the in the uh plastic steel container is an influencer outfit uh, which is a substitute uh, if Andromeda is a, is an asshole, and uh, and as well as Zephyr's uh, Zephyr's uh, fitted uh, suit that uh, matches mine. Okay. Yeah, I, I think Zephyr like before he like comes out to accept it, he's like, y'all have to y'all have to promise not to laugh when I come out. I hate looking like this. I haven't, I haven't had a job interview in years. Yeah, uh, just so there's like a, there's like a, an oil substitute that you can use on your beard so you don't, you know. <laughs> and then when you, when you say that, he bursts out of the bathroom like fully like clean shaven, like hair like neat and trimmed. He's like, <laughs> you could have told me that last night, Cody. Uh, yeah, I mean <laughs> that's. That's... I better not have left hairs all over my bathroom, you turd burger. I could. I wash them down the drain. It'll clog it up in a month and you'll be fine. <laughs> Yo, Zeph. Disgusting. Yo, Zeph, you clean up nice, bro. It's yeah, it's all right. Um, do you have the digs? Hey, uh, Andromeda. There's something over there. If you want to put it on, sure. If you don't, I'll, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Can I compare what Cody brought with what Char brought? <laughs> Yeah. Which one is less disgusting in the eyes of a 17 year old? <laughs> uh, to you, they're both bad. Yeah, they're like, both bad. You'll probably, your best bet will be to close your eyes and just do this until somebody says uh, stop. Um, I think Andromeda, like, is still feeling a little bit antagonistic towards Char, especially since Char was like way too aggressive about this like fashion show situation <laughs> that she's gonna just kind of like side eye Cody, but like grab his little package and like take it back and like change in her bathroom. And she comes out and she's got her like uh, her hair like slicked back. It's definitely rocking a more like androgynous look. Has like taken out some of her piercings um and uh and has covered up her tattoo on her face all right and is char there we'll arrive at Who fashion is, it? is everyone just at my place yep <laughs> sick yep. <laughs> but oh, wait, are you char- cody did you go into my house <clears throat> yes go into my yes garage? i did okay, okay. <laughs> all right but but char's not there yet right we'll arrive fashionably late by five minutes okay uh, so five minutes of awkward standing around with Zephyr kind of like pulling at a ghost beard that's no yes. longer there. There's and... coffee that's oh, no, Zephyr... there's like black coffee for everybody. Zephyr, Zephyr like put on the, the clothes that Cody gave him and like they are like a match for his but because of like <laughs> veil influence and his like own personal image of himself like the kind of lapels get like little just like you know just a little bit of like paisley pattern. <laughs> You know, he's still representing rib stickers, so he keeps the cowboy boots. Uh, the, uh, the outfit but, on Andromeda is still hangs like really kind of baggy, like like it's just hard to find something that fits her right because she's just a skinny little rat. Uh, it's a it's a classic uh, what he thinks is an influencer, a professional influencer look. So you have a reason to bullshit coming with us. The entire time until Char gets there, Zephyr is like death gripped the sink, looking in the mirror, going, (laughs) 
Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Out. No. 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 Hello. My name's <clears throat> Tony. No. Uh, hi. Hello. My name's Anthony. Oh God. I hate this. I wish. Why did I even call David? Oh God. I'm having, uh, I'm having an identity crisis. <laughs> uh, sure, you will eventually arrive. Yeah, and she's got on a pristine white coat that you've seen her wear before. Um, you can see like a, a, a subtle iridescent sheen underneath some like some ambient lights that are coming out just on the hems. Um, the whole thing has been tail retailored with a little bit of precision. Um, clinging to the upper portions with a not quite masculine, not quite feminine, uh, not just a complete alien, just there, uh, present and completely with the attitude. There is a fluidity to all of the movement. And when Shark comes in, like wearing slightly business like sleek. <laughs> I, I don't even know the proper words, but they are not high heels and they are not flats. It's somewhere in between whatever that is. That's like what a she's heeled boot or something. Probably like something like something like Oxford, like a nice Oxford. Uh perhaps. Or a loafer. Yeah, yeah. Or perhaps. But either way, coming in looks over at Cody. I wasn't aware that the elite were already here. Um, where is everyone? Because I see this handsome stranger just standing there in front of me. If you don't mind my asking, who uh, who are you? Uh, well, uh, I know the question you're asking. Oh, I love Zeph. that voice. I Zeph know that voice. Uh, Zeph is in the bath in the bathroom. Does. Running stop, running stop. hand <laughs> along the lapel. Cody, you clean up nice. But where is our little monarch of this mess? Uh, I don't. Uh, she's somewhere um, in the back. Andromeda's got like her headphones on, uh, and is kind of like in the corner, like sipping coffee <laughs> and like doing stuff on her computer, and is just like kind of, kind of absent. <laughs> um, but you can tell, like is definitely like you know again hair slicked back and baggy but you can tell that this is not the outfit that you picked out for her that's look at you styling over there just sitting there in a corner in a completely pristine His state middle Your, finger goes back oh careful that might that's fine that's fine <laughs> all right where's zephyr all right but hearing char is there zephyr steps out of the bathroom he goes all right, we got a meeting to get to. Honey, are you alive? You're pale. I am. Uh, I'll get over it by the time we get there. It's... I just, I can't stop talking like this. Otherwise, I'll just immediately slip back into the way I want to talk. You're, you're sweating profusely on your brow, love. Yeah, just... I'll, I'll get over it, yeah. Okay, well, what is your name here? My, my name is Anth. My name is Anthony Berlino. Burn. Very well. And looking over at Cody, your name? James Vardison. I'm uh, pretending to be my brother. Hmm. Your name? I don't know if fuck off is a proper name for a corporate setting. It is for me. Very well. Then, Miss Fuck Off. Uh, maybe we could like add like a tilde and like a dash in between so it sounds fucking foreign. Fukovsky. Yeah, that, that works, I guess. Very well. Y'all are fucking stupid. Real name Fukovsky, I like it. Fukovsky. Uh, it is about 940 and you're in Shade City and you gotta get to Iron Heights. What, how are you, how you getting there? It's real, it's real, it's real easy. Three, three blocks up, I have a, a ride for a setup. I already took this into account because I got sleep and planned ahead. Okay, I was gonna say that we are... Don't talk to me about not getting sleep. Here's your damn shoes. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Shove them like into your chest. <laughs> no, no, thank you, thank you. All right, lead the way, James. Bukowski, I believe that's you. Uh, and we're gonna head down the the block away to 
I mean, it's the more busier street instead of having one waiting right outside the hideout of fucking Andromeda. <laughs> um, Andromeda has has gotten like a like a briefcase situation and has low like y'all were like talking and Shar was being all complimentary and talking about like Zephyr's voice and shit and like she was just packing like all sorts of stuff, uh, you know, a bunch of her like beads, a couple different drones, like all this different shit. Like her Omni tool goes into this like black briefcase uh, that she then like handcuffs to her her arm. All right. Hey, I, I'm not gonna judge the way you prepare for anything. We are going to a meeting at a security corporation. <laughs> Yeah, and I was told that I need to bring my shit, so... I'm just saying... You want my tech? You gotta get it in there somehow, and I don't have any pockets. Zephyr <laughs> pulls out, like, a little parenting book. He goes, you're free to make your own decisions. I'm just trying to advise you what I would do. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Adults are weird. Um, Zephyr, Zephyr holds it in until she turns away, but a tear does roll down the side. <laughs> um, Fakovsky is going to be our technical advisor, uh, specifically for me. Okay. All right. So, uh, if you guys want, we can just skip ahead to the, you. You're going to be fashionably late. It's probably going to be about ten o five by the time you get there. Yes, we have to drive a little bit because I had to pee. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, you all managed to get to the front, the valet lot of the uh, of Cooper Security Enterprises. This building is in front of its own courtyard, and there are no other corporate buildings attached to this courtyard. It's just a mm. private. It is fucking nice. Uh, it's like a long stretch of road that um, goes into like a U in front of the like a hotel lobby kind of thing, mm -hmm. and there will be a uh, a boy there who will let you out and open all the doors, um, and uh, yeah, you're free to go into the lobby of Cooper Security Enterprises. It's a uh, Gothic architecture, and the windows are tinted, um, adding to just the kind of weird ominous tone considering it's kind of a bright day um of course you can't see anything beyond the, the smog but um it is it is kind of kind of bright morning um and just like sweeping steel blues and charcoal uh and there's like you could look up and you see like gargoyles way up on the 25th floor um, halfway up the building that are kind of peering down, kind of like kind of watching you while you walk in. It almost seems like their necks crane a little bit as you get closer to the door and walk inside. Um, this <laughs> lobby is super sleek compared to the outside, where the outside is very dated and like kind of like a uh, bulky and and kind of like like Andromeda's shoulder pads that she was going to wear. Um, <laughs> the inside the inside's very streamlined. There's kiosks everywhere for self check-in. There's a uh, a receptionist at the front who's helping people. Um, there's a couple security guards that are letting people through to get to the elevators. Um, so yeah, the uh, the the lobby is yours. Uh, as we like stand by the doors, I go, uh, please don't let anything I do here reflect too poorly on me in your guys' eyes. You're the only people here whose opinion I care about. Uh, and I walk right up to the receptionist. I go, I'm Dale Cooper, 10 o'clock. Uh, the receptionist doesn't even look at you and she's sort of like she pulls up a, a screen you could see that through the other side is a glass computer screen um, but you can't see it's like kind of encrypted on that side for some privacy um, and she says uh, how many and she's not looking four <sighs> okay uh, one moment and she prints out badges for all of you and uh, points to her right, and she says, "Elevator, thirteenth floor, please." Okay, walk off. Yeah. Are we being stopped by security at all? Or are we good to go? 
No, they look at your badges and they let you get onto the elevator to the 13th floor. Okay. As long as they're not saying anything about my briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're good. Um, I have safety guards in place anyway, so even if they wanted to try and fuck with it, they couldn't. <laughs> so so you, guys, sure. <laughs> you guys go to the 13th floor and it's weirdly different from the first gothic impression to the very sleek corporate impression. This is like old, like like old 70s police station kind of weirdly comfortable like uh wood panel walls and it's almost like um it's almost like like old architects live here and or work here and they like design stuff at you're almost expecting drafting tables and and things like that it's a um, shag carpet oh, um God. There's areas, there's like a little coffee area in the corner with a, a several coffee machines of various design um, on top of this little square laminate floor surface. Um, there's a little circle desk in the middle and you see a woman, um, very petite woman with very teased hair um, kind of tapping away and you hear like the clack, clack, clack of her nails as she's like doing her typing on her computer um there's like a little radio like you see like a couple of you you probably all have like at least heard of old like turn the am radios kind of am fm radios but there's one there um there's also a fax machine in the corner <laughs> um there are a lot of there's a lot of nods to way back technology here and uh, as you, as the door, the elevator door opens directly into the, into the, the small lobby area and the woman looks up and she says, Oh, you, uh, well, it's so nice to see you. Good morning. We've been expecting you. You're a little late. A yes, little late. I sincerely apologize. That was my fault. Uh, fortunately, my technician here was able to get me back up and running in time. But nonetheless, we are present. Are you all rib stickers or is there uh a di mr lynch was here earlier and he said that there was a somebody Hi, from yes that's i'm anthony berlino these are my executive assistant committee there's an executive assistant committee for rib stickers how impressive well, listen we're making big decisions we need oh, you know as so many eyes on the problem as we can that's so fair. I went for my 30th birthday. I went to Rib Stickers for my birthday party. And wouldn't you know, they knew it was my birthday. Yes, and we pride they, ourselves on that. They had a whole brownie cake ready for me. It was like the lava cake with the little, the, the you cut through and the chocolate comes up out on the top. It was so nice. And oh, you know what I love? Oh my God, okay. I love your, you can, you can all have a seat if you'd like. Um, I love the $5 uh, sangria hour. You know, you know what I mean? That's just, I know, <laughs> I know it's just the old cut up fruit from like the, like the brunch specials, but like, and you just dump it in a thing of wine, but listen, that's all I do at home. I just dump it right into the wine <laughs> and it is just, it's so nice. It are, was just, are, it just I, felt like home. Love, I am yeah. so sorry. It seems like you're running on last decade's firmware, but let me ask you a question. Are we uh, holding anyone up by any chance? Oh, no, 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 no. Only very special people get to access to the 13th floor. No, I haven't seen anybody here in like three days. So this is delightful. Ma'am, uh, I, I just <clears throat> I just want to let you know that uh, as a as a consultant of not only rib stickers here on this committee, uh, there are a, a few discounts that we have available if you have bring a party uh, on yours or their birthday at several facilities that are working in a corporate conglomerate in the future should you uh, look forward to doing something like that just figured I'd let you know you know you ask would... your local uh, server next time you go through about that I would love to you know I've got okay so I've got like Bernice down on the third floor it's her birthday soon and then in two weeks it's um, Tanya's birthday and she's gonna be lucky number 40 it's exciting 
it's Ooh. only once in a lifetime. Do you think that they'll do like two lava cakes? Because she's like, she's really a glutton for dessert. She loves well, dessert. She just skips right over, well, right uh, over. Doesn't uh, even worry about the bread or the salad or anything. Yeah. Ma'am, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, suggest this because you know it's not good for business. But oh, of course. if you spread this over, say, two dip separate orders, you could probably capitalize on a to-go box with a separate <gasps> table to put in the birthdays and it'll get you your whole table a discount uh that's the way it Great works for a lot of the folks who don't have things but uh, you didn't hear that from me oh oh no of course not of course not hold on let me see if let me see oh, thank you so much you know i I'm, i don't get out much so when i do and it's like a nice experience like rib stickers it's just so nice you know it's so nice to get out with the girls let me let me go see if mr cooper is ready for you okay mm -hmm. just you just all wait here would you like coffee we have um we have a french press we have an espresso machine we have three different types and of drama uh, has already gotten drinks. herself a cup of black uh, coffee uh, and is uh, what, sitting on it in the corner where we already have somebody taking care of that for us we thank you for your hospitality mr berlino and myself are uh pretty pretty standard on how we take our waiting beverages but thank Thank you. Of course, of course, of course. Just uh, one moment, one moment. And she gets up and she like rushes over to, she's, she's got <clears throat> the biggest shoulder pads you've ever seen in your life. And she runs over to the end of the hallway. Um, there's like a really long hallway with like flor gaudy fluorescent lights um, all the way to the end. And she opens it up and she's like, excuse me, Mr. Cooper, your 10 o'clock is here. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, listen, I have to tell you afterwards, they told me the greatest tip about lava cake, getting two of them. Yeah. Oh, you already knew. Oh, okay, well, they're here. So, do you want me to send them back? Okay, 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 okay. And she comes back and she says, um, Mr. Cooper, we'll see you now. It was so lovely. You know, maybe if it gets too boring in there, you could always sneak back out here. And I would love to hear more about these company secrets. I love them. It's like couponing, but in real, like in person, you know what I mean? You're not like standing there at the, at the register to like give them the coupons so that they can scan them all. It's like an experience, you know? Yes. Well, uh, I tell you what, I always love to meet a fan, and I kind of reach into my jacket and I pull out just like a rips. It like has the appearance almost of a business card, but it is definitely <laughs> just like a complimentary drink pass. And I flip it over, I write the address of the rip stickers that I work at, mm -hmm. and I go, bring this to this location and ask for Anthony. He'll take oh. care of you. Oh my goodness, this is such a treat. Thank you. I won't tell a soul. So, it's locked, sealed away. It's never going anywhere. Never going anywhere. I go to reach up the tip of hat that is not currently sitting there. And I go. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that right back at you. You all could go back if you'd like. Um, as uh, Zephyr, as you do go back, you hear Dolly <laughs> and she says, I don't like her at all. I know, Dolly, you don't like many people. Okay, well, as long as we're clear. Yes, I know, that was purely business. <laughs> That's all she'll say. Uh, do you all go back together? I started walking. <laughs> yeah, Andromeda will kind of bring up the rear and has like the briefcase all, all chained up to her wrist on, in one hand and then the coffee mug uh, in, in her other hand and uh, when they get in the office, like, she's gonna wallflower it while everybody else does the sitting down situation. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to, uh, put y'all on the map, uh, so you could check out Dale Cooper's office. Oh, shit. Hold up. Let, let's, let's, <laughs> let's make that switch. Uh, you are greeted with, um, symmetry very sharp corners minimalist design a lot of leather um it is oh. old 80s corpo um it works so far you've been kind of in like a time machine <laughs> experience um but you kind of get this impression that dale cooper's tastes are kind of flaky and they come and go and it really just depends on the kind of mood he's in um and but there's there's not much except for a few places to sit a really 
gorgeous view of Iron Heights and uh, a man standing at the window with his back, hands behind his back, um, just kind of peering out. And he, as the door opens, he kind of looks over his shoulder and then turns fully around and says, you know what I like about rib stickers? Please enlighten me. Damn fine coffee. Yeah, it's one of our <laughs> most underrated aspects. <laughs> and that is where we'll leave it until next week. As it. Yay! Damn. <laughs> wow.